We've taken 40 pages of charts, graphs, and tables, and we've boiled it down into this, a, a visual snapshot of what's happening in the labor market. What you can see, 163,000 net new jobs created in the month of July. It would have been better had it not been for 9,000 government layoffs. The private sector created 172,000 jobs in the month of July, and you can see that the trend has been the private sector leading the way in job creation for more than two years now. Every one of these black bars shows net job creation in this economy. But you want to see at least 150,000 jobs or more created in a month to just absorb new entrants into the workplace? We didn't do that the last few months, but we finally did again in July with 163,000 jobs created. Where, where were the gains? This is important. Leisure and hospitality, 27,000 jobs created there, a sign perhaps that the consumer, the consumer is spending money this summer. We also saw jobs in transportation and jobs in manufacturing. Uh, 25,000 jobs created in manufacturing, a surprise to some people who were concerned about the Eurozone crisis. Europe is the largest destination for American factory goods. And of course, American factory workers would lose jobs if you saw the Eurozone crisis get worse. We also saw healthcare jobs grow by 12,000. This has been a steady performer overall for the American economy. Bottom line, you have an economy that looks like it is healing just a little bit, a labor market gathering a little bit of momentum at the uh, middle of the summer. Christine Roman, CNN, New York.